Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a, another Charlotte Tilbury review and demo video. Um, I just want to firstly say thank you so much to all your positive feedback on my previous Charlotte Tilbury video. It did so well and I had a lot of questions and people were so impressed with the result and, and they bought the mascara for themselves and they were so happy. So yeah, um, I love that. So I have another one for you. I thought I would, would review the Jewel Pots collection because I haven't really seen anyone in the UK review it. Now this is a limited edition collection from Charlotte Tilbury. So I will be reviewing today from the Jewel collection. So I have one of the Jewel Pots and the two lip glosses that she has. So I firstly wanna discuss the outer packaging. It definitely looks different from the Charlotte Tilbury lineup. You obviously have like the light pillow talk collections, then you have the more dark purples, and this is like a very deep regal red. Um, so it definitely stands out, and you can kind of see the shimmers in that packaging as well. It feels very premium, as with almost the Charlotte Tilbury's products. Um, so these are the Jewel Eyes to Hypnotize, and on the packaging, it's really easy to apply. It just says glide on the eyes for a mesmerizing shine. Now, I do have the original um, pots from Charlotte Tilbury. I have the sh shade Bet, and it is this um, beautiful kind of copper. Oh God, it looks amazing on camera. So, so pretty. I actually need to use more of this. Um, so that is what I have to kind of compare it to. And firstly, this definitely feels more weighty. It feels more luxe, I would say, but this definitely feels a bit more plasticky and lighter. Um, the jewel pots are more expensive, but I mean, that lid is just super girly. It looks very much nicer on your dressing table versus this one, if that makes sense. And like I said, so this comes in two shapes. It comes in the pillow talk, which seems to be so popular. And then I have the walk of no shame, which I really love the name. Now inside the pod, it is a very pressed glitter. And what I like is that it has this plastic stopper in it as well. And you can just see like, the color it's just so gorgeous um very very charlotte tilbury um so i'll be excited to give that a try i am gonna put on a eye primer because i feel like with any pot or cream eyeshadows it's always best to have a base i ne don't necessarily always put a base on when i use shadows but with creams and glitters always recommend wearing a base um primer for your lids and i have absolutely nothing on my lids at the moment i have recently given myself an lvl so this is what my natural lashes look like guys like i'm so impressed i will link the video if you guys want to see because this is with no mascara on whatsoever so i'll link that so we're going to put on the walk of no shame eyeshadow and then i'm going to talk you through the lip glosses that i have Packaging is super girly. Um, I like the glitter lids. It does feel quite weighty. And I've got the Walk of No Shame gloss and the and Pillow Talk gloss as well, which I think is, again, it's gonna be super popular. People just love the Pillow Talk phenomenon, as do I. So um, I'm really glad I got sent this one to test out because it's I am really into nudes and glosses and just having that very, minimal base makeup but then just a nice glossy nude lip I, there's just something so youthful about it and this is the tip of the gloss as well i think they called is it a dauphin noir or is that the potatoes uh remind me what they call the tip of a lip gloss i i cannot remember but um yeah it's in a nice kind of applicator with um it's a bit fluffy and padded so excited to give those a try i've only got lip liner on at the moment but depending on how sheer the lip glosses are i might put on some of the pillow talk um lipstick which i have so for my primer i'm actually going to use one from nars this is their tinted smudge proof eyeshadow base actually it's really really good
god doing my lvl guys has completely changed my life and like waking up and knowing i have lashes i mean even now i would just go out like this and i'd be completely happy so <laughs> i digress okay so just from swatching um the walk of no shame jewel pot it's definitely a lot more creamier than i thought it was going to be so it glides on so well but it's definitely harder to get into where with the eyes to memorize original pots it's definitely more creamy um and easy to get into um and mousse like if that makes sense so that is i don't know if i'm doing a, a great job ah oh, that color is just amazing i really need to start using this shade again because look at how pretty that is it's a got that such nice sheen to it yeah i would say one definitely feels more mousse like has more like a sponginess to it just going very lightly where with this one i really had to kind of put more force into it and you saw how much kind of it dispensed so but it does have that amazing shine so what i'm firstly going to try is just with a brush and see how that applies to the eye um what i like about charlotte tilbury is her products are oh, oh okay so this does feel a lot more spongy i've just been like dipping my brush into it it does have that bounce but i think because i was using my finger i wasn't seeing that bounce so as I was saying, yeah, I like that Charlotte Tilbury's makeup is like fuss free. You don't need to be a makeup artist to know how to apply her products. I love the demos that she does. And I just feel like this one eye pot, it's like you just sweep it all over your eye and then you've just kind of got a completed look already. Like that's all that you need. Um, I'm just going to use this under the eye as well i am probably using the wrong brush for this but you need something small enough that you can put into this pot um because i could only really put you've got long nails you've got no chance of really using your fingers um but i like how that looks under the eye this is such a nice like copper jewel tone I, I think this is going to work so well for like the autumn months and even like for New Year's parties and Christmas parties if we get to have them because I know, um, you know, the pandemic is getting worse but anyway, enough with the negativity. So you can definitely build this up for a more intense look or this is just a nice peachy copper wash of colour. And then I'm just gonna blend that out. Definitely it blends out quite nicely. I appreciate that there is no fallout because this does have quite um, glitter pigments in it or like shimmer pigments. You would always expect fallout and there's absolutely none whatsoever with this. In the UK, the jewel pots are 24 pounds and it's a copper red with gold sparkle in it. And I love like how they put this on so many different models on the website. And you can really see what it will look like on absolutely every skin tone. Different undertones. I mean, look how many models they have. Like, that's amazing. Usually, most places will only do three. Where she has got, I mean, I didn't even count them. But you can tell. I'm scrolling, scrolling, and there's models there. But this jewel pot has multi-layered pearl pigments to reflect light hyaluronic acid to supercharge hydration properties so this is not going to dry out your eyes whatsoever has vitamin e for conditioning and nourishing abilities so you know that this is really going to hydrate your delicate eye area keep it looking plump and fresh and wide-eyed has argan oil which is rich in vitamin a e omega-6 fatty acids for moisturizing macadamia oil wow rose hip oil i love when brands include skincare in makeup products because you just get double the benefit well done charlotte Tilbury. i love that being a skincare junkie 
just you you know it's ne you're never too young to look after your eyes your skin and this is great that you've got two in one benefits i'm just gonna um intensify this because i just i've seen the models and i think i can go deeper look at that oh wow that is such a beautiful colour. Look, I mean, I've done little to kind of like no blending. And it really has like opened up my eye. I look more fresh. And then I think for the other eye, I'm going to try with my finger and just see. Because with the brush, I definitely had to build it up, which I like. But I think if you're out and about and you've got no makeup tools, if you can just do this with your eye great so it does have a good color payoff probably the same as the brush so whether you use brush or fingers I mean there's no difference whatsoever so I'm going to continue using the brush so that is the eyes done and I love just how quick and easy this was it's your one stop look to completely transform the eyes um, it glided on so perfectly no fallout whatsoever I absolutely adore this color and I don't actually have anything like this in my makeup kit and I have a lot of makeup but nothing as creamy as easy to blend this color shade with that shimmer pigment to it with the added skincare benefits so I really do love this. So I am really impressed with this product. I would actually love to try the Pillow Talk shade, but on the website they do look very similar. Um, so I guess if you had to buy either or, I don't think you're missing out as much. But this Walk of Shame is really pretty. But before we move on to lips, I'm just gonna quickly give my eyelashes a little bit of a brush through with the iconic, I feel like this has already become an iconic product. The Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. It is like taken over. Um, I do have an LVL, but I just want to darken them slightly. Where before I used to spend ages on my mascara, I feel like the LVL has just kind of given them a little bit of a push. And now I can just brush through these in like seconds where before I would take minutes minutes of my life applying mascara because i love that kind of fan look and if you want to know the technique on how to use this pillow talk push up lashes mascara head over to that video because there is a technique to this it's a whole new brush a whole new technique a whole new movement of mascara so i do have a lip pencil on my lips um a very light um color and um, this is its shade spice it actually isn't from charlotte tilbury but i wanted something to kind of match my nails today so i will swatch these without any kind of lip product on but what i'm gonna do first is use pillow talk on the top lip and then walk of shame on the bottom just from first impressions these are, i wouldn't say are highly pigmented it's more of a flush of color versus a thick um dose of color which i actually prefer sometimes you just want an enhanced look you just want something that's in your bag that you can put on top of any lip color that you have or on its own as you can see it is not changing the course of my lips at all definitely looks more juicy and then on the bottom i mean that glided on really well Walk of Shame definitely looks darker and you can see it has more reflective pigments in it. Yeah, you can see there. I probably prefer... Actually, I like them both for different things. Like This has changed the, my lip colour, where this has enhanced it ever so slightly. Uh, there's no real smell to these either. Pillow Talk, it's definitely a sheer blush color you don't see that much shimmer run, running through it but it definitely feels very comfortable um, and easy to glide on the lips i think these are super nourishing as well and then walk of no shame for me it has a bit more of a pigment color i think it suits my skin tone a lot more um they definitely feel super hydrating 
um, and it, this is classified as a ruby red glitter lip gloss with a copper sparkle. It has vitamin E in here, hyaluronic acid, diamond powder, um, jewel tone pearls. So very similar to the pot. So super nourishing, packed full of good ingredients that's going to hydrate your lips um, and keep them very moisturised. Um, and kind of blur out any maybe lines that you have on your lip or just like on the outer edge. So my thoughts on the products, I think they are a great addition. They are limited edition. I think they're just, if you are a Charlotte Tilbury fan, you love all of her stuff, I highly recommend getting these for your collection before they get taken away absolutely beautiful i think if you have more of an olive tone like i do i think the walk of shame might be for you but if you are someone who likes a bit more minimal makeup pillow talk i mean it's a hit for a reason because it just goes with so many skin tones so many kind of looks it's like your safe bet but i feel like the walk of no shame is a little bit more risque as the name suggests and the glitter iPods, I mean, there's nothing else more to say. It hasn't cracked yet. I have transferred files from this computer. I've come back filmed and I've had a little snack because life without snacks is a life not worth living. Um, and it still it hasn't creased. It's still got that glossy shine to it. Absolutely love it. Um, and you already know my thoughts on the Pillow Talk Mascara, so I'm not even going to go into that. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. If you did like this review, please give it a thumbs up so I can do more styles like this for you. And also let me know down below what you want to see next. Do you want me to talk more about her skincare? You, is, I know she's just launched a whole new palette. Do you want that? I think I might need to get my hands on it and do a review and the colours in there are amazing. If you're not already subscribed please do subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you know every time I upload and until then guys I'll see you in my next video.